guys, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and much appreciated you guys uh, making a little bit room to watch the video today. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Today I'm gonna show you guys the two ways that I like to rig a soft plastic, plastic trailer on a jig. There's two different ways to rig them and these are they're a huge difference as far as how the jig looks and there's certain situations that I like to rig it one way over the other. So I'm gonna give you guys all the juice on that and tell you when I like to do which on which way, which way uh, under certain situations. Uh, real quick, just uh, one housekeeping tip I wanted to cover real quick here. If you guys are interested in becoming members of the channel, one of the best ways to support the channel is to become a member. And by becoming a member, um, you get extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public, access to my personal email address, and you can sign up for that by going to the About section on my main YouTube page and then click on Intuitive Members once you hit the About section. Also, I wanted to remind the members out there that we have I haven't put up a video in the last five days for the members because my computer broke last week and I'm, I went and bought one at Best Buy and they were trying to switch my data over. Then they called me after four or five days and said the computer I got wasn't big enough to hold everything. So I had to go back and get another computer. So it's still in Best Buy. So um, I'll make up for it as soon as I get my computer back because I got to I gotta have a computer in order to do the member videos on there. I can't do it on my phone. Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about the jig here. Two different ways to rig the trailers on them and um, when and why you wanna use uh, a certain situation. Um, here's uh, the block of old school jig we've been talking about. Um, also, quick plug, if you guys are interested in any of the old school jigs, you can get them at Baitworks online. I'll include the link in the description here. Much appreciated, it's a good way to support the channel. There's two different ways to rig these guys. And I wanna show you first of all, um, uh, the chunk style way and then the thread way. I'm gonna do both of them with the zoom super chunk here. So anyway, you got the zoom super chunk here where you can thread on like a chunk. And what the first thing I wanna do on there is I wanna trim a little bit of the top off here, like that. And uh, so you got a thin part of it like that. And then I'll just take this thin part and I'll hook it on just like a regular chunk through the middle like that. Now, the time that I want this, and this is another reason we made the old school jig long here is because when you thread it on like a chunk, I mean, I mean like a chunk long, you want it to cover more of the chunk. So what I'll do is I'm gonna trim a little bit off of that, not very much. Um, I still want it to cover a lot of it, but I, I still want some scraggly strands on there. So I'm gonna cut it off about like that. Just a little bit more here. There like that. So this way, I've got a big full size jig. This is a big long jig profile here. And the time that I want the big profile like this is number one, if I'm fishing for bigger fish, like I'm on, if I'm on a lake that's known for bigger fish. And two, also I like this big profile like this um, in the in the springtime of the year, in the pre-spawn, during the spawn, and in the post-spawn. Um, I, I don't care for the big profile like this later in the summer, but they like a big profile when that water temperature is like between, say, 50 and 65 degrees. This big profile really works good. So that's when I hook it like that, leave it a little bit longer. That's a completely different profile. Now, the next uh, way I wanna show you how to rig them is threading it on. Now this one, I'll take the same chunk here and I'm gonna thread this, thread it on, on the shank of the hook and take advantage of the uh, keeper there on the weed guard. And what I like to do with that is first of all, I like to narrow down, this is the zoom super chunk. I'll narrow it down just a little bit where I've got it like that. And uh, this time I'm just gonna thread it up on the shank of the hook. And then I'll show you how to trim it with that. So come through. Just barely catch your keeper there. It's gonna stay on on the block at old school there. Like that, and it's gonna be a shorter profile. Now what I do here, since it's shorter, I'm gonna cut some more of the skirt off. And uh, so it's gonna be a little bit more compact. Like that. So see, now this situation, even though I've got the same jig and the same trailer, it's a lot more compact profile. Look at that little edible tidbit there, really good looking jig. And I'll use this situation on just normal fisheries that aren't known for big fish. This thing will work good all year long. It works a little bit better in clear water. 
I like the compact um, look if I've got water visibility like over two and a half feet. It works really good around more open cover like around rocks, around clean dock edges, around isolated stumps, that type of stuff where the, the thread and the longer one works better in the thicker cover. But that's the two ways to rig it guys. Threading it on like this for a small uh, compact profile and putting it on like a frog for a bigger profile. Those are the best two ways to do it. So anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Um, we'll talk to y'all later. See ya.